Uh, here we go. First steps, Ozark Highland Trail. Getting started. Uh, it's nice and cool out. Ought to be a good day. Looking forward to it. I already had to repeat the first steps. Forgot my glasses. And I know I don't really need them right now. But uh, something about ever since I came home from overseas, uh, I did a tour for uh, OIF, Operation Iraqi Freedom, and uh, 06 and 07. And uh, ever since I came home from that, my eyes have been extremely light sensitive. So even though it's just now like daylight, sun's just now coming up, I still have to wear sunglasses. What I'm looking to get out of this is just a test of some of my gear. Uh, most of my shit comes from Amazon and it's inexpensive. Uh, some of it did come from REI. This jacket is REI. Backpack I got from REI. But uh, almost everything came from Amazon. I have this romantic urge to do one of the through hikes for like the PCT or the AT. And uh, I think this is just a good way to see if I'm just a romantic fool or if it's something that I would actually like to do. Anyway, uh, I'm going to show you the overview and quit talking for a second. Well, there you have it. That's the overlook. First part of the journey. Uh, like I said, part of this is just a gear test for me to see if my stuff is any good, to see if this Amazon stuff is any good, to see if you can have fun on a budget, or uh, if you do have to have the expensive stuff to cover the miles. Uh, here we are at the uh, trail sign in. And here's where it actually starts. Let's do this.
They say the uh, first mile always starts with the first step, so first mile. Number two. I don't know if you can make out that's frost on the ground. That's how cold it is. And I gotta go over there. I gotta cross this creek and hopefully not take a swim, get hypothermia and die. Because it is already cold. I'm already cold. I'm not looking forward to this. Uh, I knew that there was a creek crossing. I think there's actually a couple of creek crossings. But I wasn't expecting it to be running this high. Ugh. This is gonna suck. Please don't fall. I don't know if it'd be better to go in the swifter water that's a little bit shallower or if it'd be better to hit the deeper water that's not quite as rough. Oh my God. Ah. Oh well. Yeah, that water's really cold on the feet. Uh, I can feel it rubbing heat all the way out of my core. Uh, Jesus. Uh, almost. And then one more. That other one's a little one. It ought to not be as bad. Oh, Jesus. Golly. Whew. Oh, my legs and my feet hurt. Oh, that made them hurt. Oh, mm. oh my goodness. I'm walking like an old man now. I can't hardly move. Oh. Okay. Getting some of the feeling back. Whoo. Lordy. Here we go again. Oh, this one's deep. Ah, shit. I think I'll go here. It's a little bit more water, but it's not as deep. Ugh. Oh, that's a sandbar there. Oh, thank God I made it there. Dang. Can't use my trekking poles. I'm just sinking. Oh my gosh, my feet are hurting. Oh. Okay. Oh. And now I'm on trail. Oh. oh. Wow. Oh. If that don't tell you you're alive, I don't know what will. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. That was fun. <laughs> well, I tell you what, that water is cold. That was invigorating. Boy, if that don't get your heart pumping, get you going, I don't know what will. That was cold as all get out. Whew. Now, I just gotta get moving, get warmed back up. <sighs> Boy, that water was cold. <laughs> Number three. Had to cross the creek to get here. Freeze my toes off, but three. Number four, my toes are finally warm. Took a full mile, but four. Neat little camping spot right here. Some people have made little rock chairs. We're at the uh, approximately four and a half, almost five mile. Just thought it was a neat little place out in the middle of nowhere. I'm not going as fast as I thought I would. Uh, being a naturally fast walker, I know this is rougher terrain than you normally walk, but I was expecting more miles. Of course, I did have to stop and cross a creek, and I've been stopping to do video, so maybe that's why. But anyway. Just thought this was a neat little place. I like how uh, someone made those rock chairs. I think that's pretty cool. Somehow I missed five, but there's six. Number six and three hours. So two miles an hour average, not too bad. Uh, still, I was hoping for a little more, but Six miles at 10.30. When I left at 7.30, I'll take it. Seven. <laughs> oh, that last one was tough. It was almost all uphill. Oh, it's really pretty, though. I'm eventually going to have to get over the top of that mountain or that one. I'm not for sure which, but it snakes around and goes over one of those two. Seven. Well, here we are. Number eight. That one wasn't too bad. A lot of downhill, but downhill means uphill in Arkansas. So. Number nine it was a bitch, all uphill. I knew when I was going down on eight, when it was all downhill on eight, I knew nine was gonna be rough. Anyway, it is now noon. I'm at nine miles. I was hoping to get to the campsite at 17.5. Uh, I don't know if I'll do it or not. It's gonna get dark in about another five hours. I'll have to keep the same pace I've had all day. And uh, I still haven't eaten yet, so. Anyway, nine. Right here is one of the uh, little milestones I was looking for. First road, road crossing, lock road. Ugh. I knew this one was coming up, but I didn't know it was between 9 and 10. But anyway, this was one of the uh, first personal milestones I was looking to hit. And I got it just right after 12.05. So uh, if you'll look over there, see that far off mountain? I got to go across it for where I'm wanting to stay the night. But anyway uh, this is personal milestone just one of the ones I was wanting to hit I know where I'm at a little boost knowing I made it here 
Well, here we are at uh, Creek Crossing number two. This is the Hurricane Creek, or as us locals call it, the Hurricane, which I guess if you were to spell that would be uh, H-U-R-I-C-U-N, Hurricane. <laughs> oh. At least there's no frost on the ground. Hopefully these rocks aren't real slippery. Oh, flip and flap, that's cold. Oh my gosh. Oh. Golly. That hurts. Mm. There we go. Getting some feeling back now. Oh my goodness. Oh. All right. Survived that one. Man, creek crossings are such a time suck whenever uh, you're trying to hurry because uh, it took me almost 20 minutes by the time I took off my boots, took off my socks, found a safe place to cross, crossed, put my socks and my boots back on and took off again. It's right at 20 minutes. Oh, that's about what I've been averaging a mile. Actually, I've been averaging 30 minutes a mile, but in the time it took me to cross a creek, I could have almost went a mile. It's ridiculous. 10. 11. 10 was a bitch. It was all downhill. 9 and 10 was all downhill. And 11's been all uphill. Uh, somewhere around 10 I had that other crossing. Oh. It's... 115. I'm at 11. Six more miles to go. I might just make it. I have to quit talking to you though. Mile 11 to mile 12 was hard. That was the hardest mile by far. Uh, as you can see, I've made it to 12. It's 150. So it took me a little over 30 minutes for that mile. So I'm still hitting that same pace, but God, that was a hard mile. That was the first time I thought about quitting was mile 11 to 12. Anyway, gotta get back on the road if I'm gonna get this done. Uh, temperature's starting to drop. Wind is starting to pick up. I think I'm in for a cool night. Anyway, here we go. In between 12 and 13, and I know you can never tell a view that you see on camera what it looks like in real life, but it's really nice. Anyway. Uh, should be about halfway, maybe a little bit closer to 13. I'll see you then.
13. Mile marker 13. Uh, temp is definitely dropping. Uh, wind is definitely picking up. My feet are starting to get sore. My shoulders are starting to get sore. But uh, I'm still knocking them out at about 30 minutes a mile. So uh, wanting to get to 17. I've got four more miles at two o'clock. That's gonna get me there awful close to dark if I make it. But that's the plan. Here I'm walking between mile marker 13 and 14. Haven't seen a single person today. Haven't seen a single car today since I parked my car. It's uh, been an experience so far. Uh, I said my feet are starting to get sore. My legs, I can tell, are starting to get a little weaker. But, 14 miles in almost, so far. I'm hoping to get that 17 and a half to make it to White Rock and camp there. I don't know that I will. That's just what I'm hoping for. Uh, being out here away from all the people and all the hoopla and no internet, no Facebook. And it's been really nice. Of course, the uh, boogaloo could have kicked off and I wouldn't have known. Uh, some things I've thought about today while walking is the uh, church shooting in Texas and just how quick it came to an end thank God for dude sorry I don't remember his name Jack Wilson something like that thank goodness for him you know what I'm talking about but you know, he's hearing all this stuff probably about himself and he's seeing all these memes about him and you know, I'm sure he knows he done everything he could. But two people died before he was able to do something. And that shot under the highest of all Stresses. Watching your buddies get shot. I mean, to be able to pull and calmly fire a single headshot from that distance. I hope one day to achieve that level is in. But my thoughts are more with him. You know, he saved a lot of lives with what he did, but you know, he has to be kicking himself, saying, what if? What if I was a second faster, I could have saved, you know, those two guys. So, something to think about whenever you're uh, posting the memes and talking about how great he is. And he is, he did great. I mean, don't get me wrong, he did great. But let's stop to think about him for a second and uh, what he might be going through for the fact that he, he was fast enough, he saved a bunch of lives, but two lives were still lost, and that might be weighing heavy on him. 14. I don't know if I recorded this already or not. I don't think the timer was going. Anyway, uh, just ran into a nice couple right down the road, trail. Uh, they're retracing their steps. They've done it once before. They're going backwards this time. Anyway... A uh, nice couple had a beautiful German Shepherd with them, and uh, I made it here. I've only got roughly three more miles to go-ish, 
So, 14. You can barely see it. There's a rock outcropping over there. That's white rock. My camp, I'm trying to make it to is underneath those rocks. My marker, 15. My feet have went from being sore to hurting. Uh, I'm hoping I can make it these last two miles to that campground and uh, hopefully not be injured, just be sore. Anyway, 15, 16, 16. I am so close, I am so ready. My feet and legs, I need to get off of them. They're killing me. Looking forward to uh, setting up camp shortly and uh, cooking something, drinking a hot cup of coffee, and getting off my feet. Well, I made it. This is 17 miles in one day, and I was an idiot for trying it. My feet hurt. Ugh. That was a rough 17 miles. Now I gotta figure out where to set up camp, get it set up before dark, eat something, and hopefully not feel this bad tomorrow. After a, a really rough night, I didn't sleep good. Uh, didn't have the best spot to set up because I hiked so long. Come to find out I had stopped at like the 16.9. So I'm on my way now to see number 17 just so I can say I did 17 miles. I know, silly. Uh, and then I'm really sore. Uh, my hips and my calves and my knees. My knees feel kind of unstable even. So I'm gonna continue hiking but I'm gonna start, get off of the uh, Ozark Highland Trail and I'm going to start hiking the uh, Shores Lake Ozark Highland Trail loop, which uh, will put me closer to home. And I'll see how I feel when I get to Shores Lake. If I still feel good, I can hike from there to home. Uh, if not, I can just call my wife. She can come and pick me up. I'm hoping to loosen up a little bit after I've been moving. But man, I'm stiff and sore. Couldn't hardly sleep because of cramps in my hips. And uh, I'm also out of water. So going back the other way, I know where there's some water going forward. I'm not for sure. Uh, it's my own fault. I pushed too hard day one. I should have slowed down and stopped maybe even at like mile marker 10 oh here we are 17 so I made it to 17 I said I wasn't real far from it uh, but anyway so that's my trip so far I don't know I'm not sure what I'm gonna do anyway 17